boys and girls, welcome to Words of Life Kids. I'm Leslie Holland, and we have a lesson today that we want to share with you. The lesson is about the righteousness of God. Do you know what righteousness means, boys and girls? Righteousness in the Bible means that one who is righteous has right standing with God as if they never did anything wrong. And as we learn about the righteousness of God, we're going to travel way back in time, thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago, to when God created the first people, Adam and Eve. Now, boys and girls, as we learn in the Bible, Adam and Eve were righteous before God. They were in right standing with God. They were innocent. They never did anything wrong. You know, when God made Adam and Eve and all of his creation, he looked at everything and do you know what he said about it? He said it is very good. Adam and Eve were in right standing with God, made in his image and in his sight. They were very good. And God provided everything for Adam and Eve. He planted this beautiful garden in this place called Eden, which is as big as an entire country. And you know what he did? He planted trees in the garden. And the trees had all kinds of delicious fruits that Adam and Eve were given to eat. And God said to them, you can eat of any tree in the garden except one, except one. Not only did Adam and Eve have more than enough food, God gave them dominion. That means they had control over everything on earth. God, most of all, had a close relationship with Adam and Eve. The Bible tells us that God walked in the garden in the cool of the day, and he talked with them. Imagine, boys and girls, seeing God face to face, having him talk with you in the cool of the day. Well, boys and girls, Adam and Eve had everything. There were very few rules. In fact, there was only one rule, that they should not eat of a certain tree in the garden which bore fruit. The tree was called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God did not want Adam to eat the fruit of that tree. Why? Because God didn't want them to know anything about evil. Remember, they were innocent and they were righteous, meaning they had right standing with God. Well, boys and girls, the devil in the form of a serpent came to Adam and Eve and tempted them, making them question whether God had really said that they should not eat of this tree. Boys and girls, Satan can only tempt. He cannot make us do anything. And he tempted Adam and Eve. They ate the boys and girls, they were banished from the garden. They disobeyed God and lost their righteousness. Do you know that people have been trying for thousands and thousands of years to get back that righteousness, the right standing that Adam and Eve had with God? And people have tried all kinds of ways to get righteousness with God. People have invented all kinds of religions Religions that taught self-denial. Oh, if I just fast enough or torture myself, or if I don't get married, God will approve of me. People have thought that if they have enough knowledge, oh, if I just read 10 scriptures a day and memorize them, God will approve of me. People have thought if I just do enough good deeds, if I give all that I have to the poor, surely that'll be enough to make God accept me and I'll be righteous with God. Boys and girls, the Bible teaches us that all of the deeds that we do 
to get righteousness, self-denial. Knowledge. Oh, goodness. Good deeds. Boys and girls to God. They are as filthy rags. But a righteousness through Jesus Christ has now been revealed to us. The righteousness that doesn't come because of our good works, but it comes through faith in Jesus Christ. The Bible teaches us that Jesus Christ, who knew no sin, came down from the glory of heaven and became sin for us so that in him we would become the righteousness of God. We receive righteousness by grace, through faith. It is a free gift, a gift that comes with our salvation. Now, boys and girls, each of you today can receive righteousness, right standing with God, better than what Adam and Eve had long ago when they lost it because of their disobedience. We have, through Jesus Christ, a way to receive complete righteousness with God as if we had never sinned. Look how clean that cloth is. Well, when we receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, all of our sins, all of our wrong deeds are washed away and we are made clean. So let's pray today. Let's ask Jesus to come into our heart he died for you to pay for your sins. Bow your head, boys and girls, and pray along with me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. I believe that you died to pay for all of my sins. And I believe in my heart that God raised you from the dead. Jesus, live your life through me. I want to have right standing with God as if I had never done anything wrong. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I ask in your name. Boys and girls, have your parents call the church at 305-653-8155 and let us know that you prayed with us today. Amen.